Can I at the outset uh, congratulate Senator Dolan and Senator Bylan for bringing forward this important matter. It's an important discussion that should be held in the Senate, so well done to them on that. Um, we won't be opposing the motion, as you anticipated correctly. Uh, we have no difficulty in principle with this at all, or in practice. Um, I suppose the first thing I'd raise with you, though, is I assume that this office would be available to people in Ulster generally, that it wouldn't be a question of available in the six counties that constitute Northern Ireland that would be available in Connor, you know, because it, it would be important for Cavan, Monaghan and Donegal and indeed Louth to be able to access the office and use it. And I presume that you might indicate your support for that to ensure that we do vote for the motion or not to oppose it. So it's important that we do that. Uh, the, um, in fact, you would know that I've said to you privately in the past, Senator Donnell, that we should have much more interaction. We should contrive to make reasons that would bring people north and south in this country. And uh, that's very important. So this could be one. Uh, I would agree with the colleague, with our colleague here, Senator Chambers, in relation to Mayo. Why not put a passport office into the west of Ireland also? And I presume that in no way towards it. I would like to just to put a perspective on how successful the passport situation has been. We've had the difficulties, but great strides have been made. And I think that's important to draw attention to this. Up to mid-July of this year, 720,000 passports have been issued. That's in contrast to 630,000 in 2021. Uh, there's a 20, it's 20% up on a peak year of 2019. Uh, a 40% increase in the online time now, for, uh, for certainly for, first, for renewals anyway. Currently, there are 6,000 passports a day being issued. Uh, it's a 10-day delay online for renewal, and that's not bad, but that's online. Uh, since July, or June rather, I think 570 new staff have been included into the passport office. And these are good things. That's not to suggest there wasn't a problem, but I do want to say that government are addressing the problem with vigour and with a huge amount of success. It's wonderful that we had the inundation of applications for passports on a number of levels. It's great to see people from Northern Ireland and the UK seeking Irish passports. I mean, that's just wonderful. It's something to be very proud of as a country. We've come a long way that we're at that point, and that's good. It's uh, wonderful to see that request, that demand. It's also wonderful to see the mobility of our people now, the degree to which our people are fit to travel, and travel is so much part of the reality of people's lives. Myself and Senator Crockwell occasionally here reminisce about life when we were younger and talk about how it mightn't have been as ideal as we like to romanticise it retrospectively. And that we've had those discussions here in public a few times. But I can certainly say, looking back to my childhood, a airfare was prohibitive for most people. It was a very rare thing that people would get on holidays. It was a very rare thing that long-term, even successful immigrants would get home, uh, particularly if they were in America or beyond the UK. So all of the, it's great progress. It's great to see a mobility among people, a travel thing there, and people you know, living in a wider world and a wider landscape and wider experience. So that's good. It's good to see the demand for passports. It's good that we're addressing that demand, and we should. And I suppose to, to return to the core of the motion, I have no problem, and my party have no problem. There may be another speaker, I think, or two later. I'm not quite sure. I think there's at least one, and they'll be indicating similarly. We'll be supporting the motion. Uh, it's a good motion. It should be done, by the way, and it shouldn't just be a motion of the Senate. I'd say to the Minister, I'd like to hear him give a commitment to do something about it, because it's a worthy thing. I know there are issues around viability, but uh, that maybe you need a certain volume to be viable, but I presume you could cut the cloth according to the measure. You could have a small office or whatever. I, you wouldn't need some elaborate monstrosity of an office, uh, you know, if, if we're not going to have the kind of 
volume that would justify that. And it might only point up the lack of activity in it. So you'd be better with a small physical building that was busy than a large building that wasn't. So it's a good motion, it's a good discussion, and it's the Shannon addressing a real issue, and I think could be good if it was also to cause a greater movement. And something I personally I must come back to, have a big thing about we should do it through the sports capital grants, we should do it through a number of ways, mechanisms to bring people up north. I think mobility, movement north is very important for southern people, and it's not enough of it. We tend to be very Dublin-centric, even in Ulster, and that's not how it should be. So, look, at the chair. time is nicely up. I managed to fill the time, so a certain level of elasticity there. But anyway, to return to the core topic, I'm completely in support of the motion. Thank you.